Now, as spring approaches, the South Korean government is bracing itself for potential wildfires. Local authorities now are using the latest ICT technologies to prevent outbreaks of the deadly blazes more effectively. Cho Song Min has more. 2019 was a disastrous year for South Korea in terms of its ability to handle wildfires. There were more than 650 cases of wildfire last year, demolishing more than 3,200 hectares of forests and mountains across the nation. Experts say that's nearly three times larger than the average area of land affected annually over the past 10 years. Last year's seemingly abnormal amount has pushed the relevant authorities into increasing their reliance on ICT to detect and fight wildfires. Officials at the Korea Forest Service said they have recently introduced the latest technologies and more proactive measures to prevent the blazes. We're planning to dispatch hydron choppers and special teams of firefighters along the east coast and also set up forest aviation headquarters around the DMZ. According to statistics, nearly two-thirds of all wildfires that occur each year happen in spring. This year, the risks of wildfire are particularly high because there were more droughts last winter due to less snowfall. Authorities added it has already put more than 10,000 firefighters on standby in the areas deemed most vulnerable. In addition, authorities started operating its Central Forest Fire Control Center 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The control center supervises all of the real-time fire operations and shares the information with local governments to proactively handle the fires. Officials vowed to put their utmost effort into minimizing damages inflicted by wildfires this upcoming spring. Cho Song-min, Arirang News.